what is happening, y'all? So we got uh, two different things I'm going to try. The first is going to be um, Atlas, which is obviously very similar to Queen Slayer, except I just have uh, more health, more raw attack, uh, a little bit better on drain attack. I am still going to run the uh, healing thing. I'm not going to be running Queen Slayer, of course, or not Queen Slayer, but Final Journey. It doesn't seem worth it here, but the get back health... Um, when you accidentally take a hit does seem worth it. So I'll, I'll keep that on. But I want to... I want to focus more on dodging and see how that feels. Actually, let me try guard reverse too. I want to see what, how that works against him, if it does at all. So guard reversal does nothing. This does seem to be working a lot better, just focusing on like the basics and not worrying about all the buffs. Damn. Alright, so I can't I can't dodge that. If I see that coming, I just need to get out of the way. stamina to do it. Nope. Done fucking goofed myself in that. using my other abilities. See what I could put on in that slot. Um... A triple Annihilator is like a teleport type move. Maybe add that in and, and uh... Oh, you know what? Foul Blood Barrier would probably be really nice in a fight like this. I'll put that on. That works. Um, so I want to do that thing, start, and then as I, yeah, all right. I need to just remember, I'm like, I'm so used to being like, oh, I got the Zweihander, I might as well block, but I really do need to dodge. 
Thank you for that. That was, that was oh god, that was pleasant. Yes. Lightning seems to be adding a good chunk of damage, too. I need like um No, I just, yeah, I need this is going to be a dodge fight. Or I need drain rating. Drain rating would be really good here. I need, I need medium rolls. I don't even know if I have a weapon that has medium rolls for a fight like this. Hmm. No, you know what? Let me. I got. Let me. All right. I got an idea. We're going to. So I like that ability, but. I think that's hurting me more than it's helping, so we'll drop that off. We'll go um, guard drain rating instead of this. We'll put we'll put foul blood down there since that's my like main defensive thing. Um, so flashing fang combo with dragon lunge, and then those two things. Um, put some. Regen and pure blood on, and let's see which weapon is hitting harder right now. 1962. So Rand is hitting harder. Correct. Yes. Yes. Maybe. 1971. 1967. Wait. 1971, 1967. But right there. Never mind, never mind. I'm dumb. I'm dumb and I can't do math. I don't know if it's even worth grabbing this Iker anymore. I might grab it and, and like spend it. I don't know. How much Iker do I have here? 147. so much with fat rolls, you know.
out. Thank you for carrying me. Fifty, new fastest record. Oh boy! And I got a pretty fire greatsword for doing it. And camaraderie, Io. Eo, Io, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so I guess you're supposed to just high stamina, perfect for mobile combat, low health but high strength and fortitude. That actually sounds pretty cool. Um, Wrathful Balmung, face paint. So did I get the IO outfit? Was that what I unlocked? Or added difficulty eight or above difficulty seven. Wait, so do you just keep fighting this with like higher modes? Oh God, please no. Difficulty one is the same as setting enemy strength to seven star new game plus. So you just keep putting it up higher in its levels. So where's the yeah, EO thing? Destroyer. I get Wrathful Balmung for that. That's a Louie. So I think I got an I EO outfit. Yeah, no, wait. No, it's the same outfit. Let me see if it's just like go here and pull alternative version in or something. Um, what? Hang on a second. So you get a weapon depending on if you beat it with hammer, sword, or two-handed. Louis badge outfit. Where's the EO outfit? Outfit change. EO dark version. Only equip the blood code EOS and no more than three deaths. I thought there was a... Is this the one I unlocked? Oh, I got I got face pain unlocked, I guess. Those are badges. And then the hard mode rewards are just face paint. Is the sword good at least? A dex? What? It's a dexterity greatsword? What the hell? So it's like made for Queenslayer. I mean, it looks cool.
Hmm. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I kind of have the same feel about this as I did the Search 2 DLC. It's like... Uh, I mean, this was... I would argue this is even shorter. Like, it took us an hour, and that was with dying a bunch because I haven't played in ages and I'm sloppy. And then the boss took maybe 20 minutes of attempts to do on, like, a pretty standard... I think we're what? We're, like, level 150, too? So we're not, you know... 151, yeah. Let's see if the weapon's cool, at least. So it's got the same moveset as this thing. It probably has the same... Yeah, it has the roll. Does it get fire at least or something? Oh god, all it does is a little floof of flame. Just a little floof of flame and that's it. Oh my god. Bandai, what is this? This is... this is... this is the DLC. An hour of content and then... reskinned weapons. And reskinned enemies, like the. I mean, I don't know. Feel free to 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 call me on it if I'm wrong here, but I think the boss was the only new thing we fought. I mean, maybe the one uh, Argent guy that was that had like a rifle. I don't know if I recognized him, but besides that, um, I, yeah, I, I don't. <laughs> uh, and I guess the whole. The whole idea here is you just keep increasing the difficulty and fighting this thing over and over again to get more face paint rewards. Fucking face paint, really? Like, Bandai, come on. Especially after the, the Dookie Fest that was Kakarot. This is not a good look. I'll be with you. Oh, that's right. I grabbed a, I grabbed a thing. I got a thing. Um, Violet gear. All right, so is this, is this just a, yeah, it's, all right, so, and the gear is just reskins of uh, veils we already have? All right, so let me get this straight. And, and and I think there's, I think there's actually, like, two depth maps that were added that were kind of small. So this thing took us roughly an hour to beat. There's a new boss, which, um, my understanding is this is uh, a thing directly from, uh, from God Eater, let me let me pull up the thing. There was there was something people were discussing earlier. They're like, oh yeah, it's it's the God Eater boss. Um, where is it at? Ah, uh, here we go. Hannibal. Supposedly this thing. Let me let me look up this Hannibal thing. Hannibal God Eater. Yeah. No, it is. Well, so the boss is, <laughs> the boss is just a boss from God Eater, which is a game essentially attached to this world that's been added into Code Vein. The weapons are just reskins with a fire effect added on them and an identical move set with a little poof of flame. Uh, the new veils are just a different color scheme on existing veils. Oh, fuck. Bandai. Let me, let me look at the new, the new blood code we got. Maybe that's the saving grace here. Because I know this one, this is fucking stupid. I'm like, oh yeah, I just go around and I, I can boost my partner's Iker or his defense or his offense. Cert. Savage dive. Launch an assault from midair. Mow down the enemy. One-handed ability. Homing Hellfire, ominous vortex of flames that pursues the target, strength fortitude, and dancing fire blade. Deficient. Deficient what? It's 48,000. You acquired Cert Flame Core 1, 2, 3. Wait, are those, are those rewards? Do we just have to keep fighting this thing to get its abilities, I guess? Uh, Cert... Yes, so 30 hits in a row for for one of the abilities. Five attacks in a row. That one's easier than the 30 hits, I think. And then the last one is... Parry him. Oh, I want to at least try out the flame dive thing, see if that's cool, maybe. I don't know. I know I, I sound super... 
defeatist right now, but I'm like, fuck, man. Like, I think part of it, it's just that we're in like the slowest time of the year. And once we get to March, we got games in March, games in April, games in, in uh, May. And it's just like getting through February. I'm like, oh, DLC. Yeah, we like we like Surge. Let's play it. Oh, it's it's over. It's been an hour and it's over. Oh, Code Vein. Yeah, we like Code Vein. Let's play that DLC. Oh, it's over. Okay. And it's just like shit. Just fucking ending. Just ending. Sword and halberd. Let's uh, use a machete, and then where's a there's a cool looking halberd. Let's use a let's use this guy. It's kind of neat. I guess we jump up and then we do an AOE spin. Gotta keep them feet quick. It's respectable damage and it's good mobility at least, but I don't know. Even then, like this, I, I, ah, I don't know. I saw. I know I sound like a crotchety old man, but honestly, when when I get a season pass, I expect more than an hour of new content and refighting the boss to unlock face paints. That doesn't fucking count as content. That's filler. Let's be honest here. That's filler. I mean, my wife who looks good, I guess that's a saving grace here. I don't know. Let's just hope Cinders gets updated sooner rather than later. 